remember that the PE can seem intimidating, but 70% means you could get 20 questions wrong. Framing it like that, it's not so crazy, especially when a lot of the questions aren't as difficult as you think. The purpose of this video is to give you my schedule on how I approach taking the exam so you can set yourself up a realistic schedule for your own exam, which hopefully you will pass the first time. Let me take you back to the beginning when I started thinking about taking the PE. I graduated with my master's at the end of May, and my initial plans was to give myself the entire month of June to relax, and then study two months over the summer, then take the PE in September. I wanted to get into studying for the PE right after my master's, so I would still be in the studying mindset. So on July 17th, I signed up for the school of PE to get started with my studying. And then I did absolutely nothing for the next three months. When I tried sitting down and studying, I just drew a blank. When I thought about studying, I felt overwhelmed with how much information was required and professionally procrastinated. At the time, my justification for the procrastination was I still needed to register my hours and experience with NCES. I also made myself busy with really anything. I finally got my act together and filed all my hours through NCES and was approved to take the exam through New York in early September but I still didn't schedule the exam. I figured I would schedule my exam for when I feel comfortable with my study progression and I feel that I'm almost ready to take the exam. Let me tell you now, I highly advise against doing this because I didn't study much in the following months even though I was approved by New York State. My procrastination was finally overcome when NCES announced an exam format change that was happening in April of 2024. Shortly after that announcement was made, on October 17th specifically, I registered to take the exam. I know it was that specific date because that's the day I actually started taking studying seriously. When I registered for the exam, I knew I had to take it before April. So I registered to take it on February 12th, 2024. This gave me about four months to really start preparing for the exam. I specifically chose this date for a bunch of reasons that I think you should consider when scheduling your exam. Firstly, I only looked at testing centers that were close by so I can minimize my commute the day of the exam. I also chose a Monday so I wouldn't have to work on the days leading up to the exam. Once I scheduled the exam, I immediately began taking my studying seriously and I stuck to the following study schedule. Two hours on Sunday and Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays, three hours. Wednesday I played basketball so I only studied one hour that night and Saturday night I also only studied one hour. If you you add all that time together, that's about 12 hours a week. But I did go out here and there and try to maintain some sort of social life. And I would say I averaged about 10 hours a week as opposed to the 12 hours I just mentioned. But I do want to say that my Tuesdays and Thursdays were always three hour study sessions and I always stuck to those. This gave me a healthy balance of knowing I'm going to get certain studying done on certain days of the week. And the rest of the week, I was a little bit more flexible with myself. It's a sad dream, but you have a sad life, so I get it. I use School of PE to study, not sponsored, yet, and watch all the videos at two times speed. Otherwise, I would start to get distracted. While watching the videos, I use the split screen to have the study guide and manual on the other half of my computer. This is for two reasons. One, to get me used to the exam format. Secondly, to get me accustomed to using the reference manuals as PDFs and learning to locate all the material within the PDFs. I did break down how the reference manual and how the exam is formatted in a video that's gonna pop up somewhere about here. Take a look at that if you haven't checked it out. Whenever I was given a sample problem, I would attempt to do the problem beforehand, but only one problem at a time, and then watch the solution video. The reason why I did this was I liked to be corrected on my mistakes so I can apply that information to the next part or the next question that I attempted. I also like this method of studying for me because if I understood how to do a problem and I saw that I got it correct, I would just skip that portion of the video. My motto is simple, efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. At the end of November, about a month into my studying, I finished the breath portion or the morning portion and studied with the depth or afternoon portion. My plan was to finish the breath in one month and the depth in another and then study practice exams for a month and whatever change was left. The depth portion took me to the middle of December to complete and it was a bit more intense because the information is a deeper understanding of the material and I did have to learn a few new material. By mid-September, I had finished studying and started taking practice exams, which is when the real exam studying takes place. I took two practice morning portions and three afternoon portions by the time it was January. I did use the holidays to study, and since I was studying only a night, any day studying for me was essentially bonus, which is how I was able to do so many practice exams towards the end of December and beginning of January. Well, that sounds intense. About a month before my exam in early January, I got sick to the point where I couldn't focus on anything. I called out of work and just sat in bed all day for a week. This was the week of January 7th to 11th, and on the 11th, I printed out Blake calendar and made a month lead up plan to my exam. I planned on taking the full exam offered by School of PE for one week, including the review, the NCS practice exam for the next week, and six minute solutions for the following week. The week before my exam, I planned on reviewing each of the breadth and the depth portions, morning and afternoon, one per night, and planned on stopping to study the Friday before my exam. 
This would give me the whole weekend to unwind and relax and get ready mentally to take the exam. For the NTS practice exams, I did 20 questions at a time, then graded and reviewed those. I found that if I did more, I would spend too much time reviewing what I actually did in the problem, versus if I reviewed it shortly after, I recalled exactly what each problem was about. As I mentioned on the School of PE practice exams, I was getting an average of 90 for the morning portion and an average of a 70% on the afternoon portion. No one really knows the exact passing grade, but based on the people who didn't pass the exam, self-reported on places like Reddit, they speculate that you need an average of 70 on your exam to pass, so that's what I was aiming for. Remember that the PE can seem intimidating, but 70% means you could get 20 questions wrong. Framing it like that, it's not so crazy, especially when a lot of the questions aren't as difficult as you think. When studying 6 minute solutions, the problems took me way longer than 6 minutes when I attempted to complete them. One of my friends suggested, and he's correct, that the best way to study with 6 minute solutions is to straight up use the solution manual. I did about 3 days of using 6 minute solutions, and at that point, I was truthfully getting really burnt out at studying. Every time I would look at a problem, I just felt really bored, like I've seen this before. I decided not to study anymore for that week and to resume the week before my exam and only review the previous exams I took like I laid out previously. The week before the exam, I started reviewing the breadth or morning portions of the exam. After the second morning portion, I just couldn't do it anymore. Like the week before, I found the material utterly boring and wanted to just get the exam over with. I couldn't stand the idea of just sitting down and doing more and more answers and problems. This got me really, really nervous because on the day of the exam, I would have to do this for eight hours, eight hours of sitting down and doing questions and answers. So I decided, again, I would stop studying after that. So the Wednesday before my exam, I stopped studying completely. The day before my exam, I distracted myself and spent the whole day with my kids. And that night, I dropped them off by my in-laws and on the way home, made sure I had lunch and I made sure I had snacks and drinks and everything I needed for the following day. The day of the exam, I planned on getting to the testing center 15 minutes early, so I got there on time at 8 o'clock. I was seated for my exam at 8.20 and I walked out of the exam center at 5.15 in the afternoon. Here's some takeaway advice from my experience. If you're thinking about taking the exam or you're procrastinating, 